one of the uh, areas that we have here in the version here at uh, Comic-Con. This is a dungeon. So we'll start off by selecting the beetle. Of course, a lot of puzzle solving is uh, an essential element of any Zelda dungeon. Step right through this door, which has been opened, and we'll face off against the mini boss. So this is a familiar enemy to any Zelda fan, Stalfos. A little bit different fighting him this time. You can't just hack away at him. You need to look at his the positioning of his swords and find an opening. So see if I just sort of try and hack away at him, he's going to take advantage of that. So again, vertical strikes when he's holding his swords. That way, just keeping an eye on him, looking and taking, seizing the opportunity when it's there. So we finished him off, recover some health, pick up our treasure chest. So what we're going to get here is an upgrade to our uh, beetle item. And upgrades are a pretty essential part of the game. Uh, you know, the, it the items that you get at the beginning are not the same items that you'll finish the game with. They're going to get stronger and take on new capabilities. So the one that we have can fly a little bit longer and um, it can drop items that it picks up. So that's a nice upgrade for us. Here's the character, if you remember back when we announced the game uh, several E3s ago, this was one of the characters that was in that main piece of artwork. Don't have a lot of details on who exactly this is yet, but definitely plays a pretty important part in the story, giving uh, tips to Link as he goes through his quest. So the door's closed, need to get out of here. Take a hard right after we get past this spider web. Oops, missed it. Give it one more shot. I can also use my beetle to uh, cut the webs of these spiders if they're in the way, so lots of different ways to uh, get through any of the obstacles that the game throws at you. There we go. And uh, we're out of this uh, area and back through the dungeon. You notice that Link does have a stamina gauge, so when I sprint or climb up walls, that's going to get depleted. You'll need to keep an eye on that. Also, doing some special moves in swordplay will uh, deplete some of your stamina as well. You still have a lot of the dodge moves, so you can do you know the somersaults, the attacks. So let me show you combat against one of these spiders. It says it's, it's again you know not a hack and slash kind of experience. Not sure if I can get the height on this. I'll switch over to my uh, bow and arrow. So this is uh, familiar to those that played Wii Sports Resort. Pull back the nunchuck to get it ready, and uh, we'll fire off our arrow. So now that we're on the ground with this guy, we'll notice that he is armored in really any area on the top. So what we need to do is flip him over. So hit him from below and stab. Let's try again. Finished him off. You can also do a finishing move once you flipped him over. Uh, take him down in one hit. So we'll need to get through this door, so I'll switch back to the beetle. And we'll try and uh, navigate this very tight passageway here and hit another one of those gems that'll open the door. There it is. Uh, it is, but this is a, a part of the full game, so you know you will eventually play through this. One of the, this is one of the dungeons. This is not the full dungeon; it's just a part of it. Um, but it gives a pretty good sense of you know the interplay between combat and exploration and puzzle solving. Here's another one of our spiders, so we'll flip him over, 
finish him off. So you notice by this door there are these three eyeballs that'll look at me and sort of follow my motions with the sword. But I can't get them all to open at once. It's always just one at a time. So I need to find a way to have them all open at the same time. And I can do the trick that you saw from the E3 version last year where I spin the sword around and they get you know, dizzy and they uh, go away to get into that door. So I think there's something up here that'll help me out. We have uh, this box that I can use. Again, break the thread with the beetle, drop it down. Push this down and we're in business. You know, a lot of people ask about, well, how does this game fit into the overall Zelda timeline? This game takes place prior to Ocarina of Time, so that's a good tidbit uh, for fans to sort of guess about, you know, what's going to happen, what characters you might see. So here we are. We push our box. We're on top of it. We've got all three of the eyeballs in place. So here we'll spin our sword around very carefully. Nice one-to-one -one motion with the Wii Motion Plus there. They get dizzy, and the door opens, and we get our treasure chest. So we got a key. There was a key. there was a locked door in that main atrium area of the dungeon. So we'll make our way back there, and we'll take a little bit of a different way out. As we uh, you walk out, you can see off in the distance that there's one of those pink gems that we'd been hitting before. So let's uh, use our beetle once again and uh, set him off and navigate these trees and the spider to uh, hit that. using the Wii remote to sort of angle uh, the beetle as he flies through the air. It's very precise. So we've risen the water level so we can get up to this uh, broken off staircase and get to the higher area of this floor.